Hello everyone, this is Nurse Annie again and welcome back to my channel. So this is the second part of the video about the highest paying state to live and work if you are a nurse. And of course, we will also be talking a little about the most expensive states perhaps in terms of, you know, cost of living, housing prices, taxes and of course we will also be talking a little about um, the common workplace settings for nurses and which of these are the highest paying you know settings so if you still are not decided to which state you are going to you know if you are outside the country or if you are here in the u.s and you just want to change you know workplace uh, change employers or you just want to go to another state then of course this video is for you But again, of course, just to reiterate, whatever I will be sharing with you today on this video are resourced from, of course, my experience in the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and, of course, some other nursing um, websites that I have taken the information, okay? So if you have doubt on any of the information that I am sharing with you today, you can as well do your own research, okay? Anyway, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, statistics the national mean annual wage for nurses nowadays is 82750 but that's the mean okay that's just the mean of course some states have higher some states have lower um, of course depended on so many different factors which we are not going to talk about that today okay perhaps in another video I can make another video for only the topic okay anyway let's get on to the number one highest paying state for nurses which again probably uh, majority of us already knows it hasn't changed its number one rank actually um, I mean I have the video that I have made perhaps two more or less two years ago um, still has this state as number one in the highest paying state that year so as I've said as we probably know it's California of course the number one highest paying state here in uh, the U.S. is California. California um, hourly mean wage is $59.62 with an annual mean average of $124,000 imagine okay 124,000 annually the good thing about california though is aside from its significant earning potential of course as we all know another thing that makes nursing unique in california is the patient to nurses ratio law it is actually only the state that has successfully been approved of the nursing um, safety nursing to patient ratio um, actually it is for non-critical units it's one to five the nurse to patient ratio and for icu maximum is one is to two two patients per nurse so they are just very lucky to have been approved of that law um, all the I think majority of the state is trying to pass that law some nurses had advanced to the senate floor but some still is uh, in congress and others did not even pass the congress floor you know um, but anyway um, California as I've said is the only state which has been approved of that law okay so the next on the list is hawaii oh my gosh it's hawaii so the mean hourly um salary in hawaii is 51.22 dollars and the mean annual wage is 106,530 dollars okay so that's hawaii but you know uh, i'm just thinking that oh my gosh hawaii is so far <laughs> i'm not just sure though if they are taking you know um travel nurses or they are taking international nurses in hawaii so if you want to go to hawaii you just have to make a little bit more of research before you know um before deciding to go to hawaii okay okay so the third on the list according to the u.s bureau of labor and statistics is a state where i did not expect actually that it's the third it's oregon 
<laughs> Oregon has an hourly mean hourly wage of 47 da point 42 dollars and a mean annual wage of 98,630 dollars in all okay so for those of you who have families or who have friends in Oregon know that Oregon is the third third highest paying state in the country okay with 47.42 dollars hourly wage okay so the next on the list the fourth on the list is dc washington dc the national capital of the united states okay so in dc the an rn a registered um, nurse earns an average annual salary of more than ninety eight thousand dollars and an average hourly rate of forty seven dollars more or less though okay so it is actually 15.2 according to the u.s bureau of labor and statistics it's 15.2 percent um, higher than the national average so if you decide to you know to choose washington dc as your destination um be proud that you are earning much more than most of us okay okay so the fifth on the list is alaska oh my gosh that cold cold you know part of the united states <laughs> alaska if you may have heard alaska it's no it's cold you know day uh, daytime is more i think or nighttime is more i don't know but yes the fifth on the list is alaska um alaska is i think more than 2000 miles away from the center of the united states or from from washington dc and alaska is is on the top five list of the highest paying state because perhaps because of the distance you know it's far from the center actually so they pay more you know um, than other states uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there should be two or more you know stopovers before you will reach Alaska from any part of this the state I don't know but I'm just guessing okay anyway I watched a video of an NP a nurse practitioner who went to travel um, to Alaska and he was saying in the video that he was being paid double the amount that he was getting when he was um, I think he was from Texas that then what he was getting in Texas so imagine so if you want big money <laughs> you go to Alaska okay but as I've said Alaska is cold it's far um, but of course you all always have your choice okay by the way the annual wage in Alaska is $97,230 and the hourly rate is $46.74 okay okay so the six the six on the list is Massachusetts oh my gosh I didn't expect that Massachusetts actually is six on the list but anyway Massachusetts has a mean annual wage of 96,630 with an hourly rate of 46.46 dollars .46. okay um, so to those of you who are interested in going to Massachusetts know that you are in the top 10 highest paying state in the united states okay <laughs> and of course the next would the seventh seventh would be washington washington state okay um i think washington is just beside california okay so those those uh, states in the west has the highest paying okay for registered nurses anyway for washington state the mean annual average um, wage for nurses is ninety five thousand three hundred fifty dollars with an hourly rate of forty five point eighty four dollars okay um i have i have friends in washington state and they said it's nice but i just heard that washington has a rainy you know rainy weather so <laughs> but i know washington has a lot of you know uh, places for the kids especially the science museums parks and you know the kids um, museums and all of those um because i know because uh 
my son watches Bleepy. If you know Bleepy, <laughs> uh, he usually features uh, uh, places in Washington, D.C. and Nevada. So I know that uh, they have a lot for the kids there in Washington State. Okay, so the next to Washington State, number eight in rank is New York. Oh my gosh, I did not expect actually that New York is on number eight. I thought it would be on the top three highest paying state. <laughs> but it's number eight actually on the list according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. So New York has a mean annual wage of $93,320 with an average hourly rate of 44.86 dollars but uh, you know the disadvantage in new york is uh, of course the high cost of living but anyway i will be briefly telling you um, about what are the most expensive states okay after this one but of course in new york oh my gosh know that um, new york has one of the highest cost of living in the state and of course the difficulty in transportation i don't know but when i went there oh my gosh the traffic is so bad <laughs> but of course this is not to discourage you okay so to those of you who wants to go to new york um take the honor okay but just so you know new york is number eight on the list of the top paying state for registered nurses okay okay so the next on the list number nine on the list is new jersey <laughs> Of course, New Jersey is again near New York, beside New York, I think. If you come from here in North Carolina, you will pass by New Jersey before you will go to New York. So that's New Jersey. Anyway, New Jersey has a mean annual uh, wage of $89,690 with an hourly rate of 43.2 dollars okay so for those of you who are going to new jersey know that in new jersey what is there in new jersey oh my gosh yes atlantic city i have been there atlantic city of course i think you can also see the, um, the hudson river and i think lower manhattan according to the website so yep there are also places to visit in new jersey and the 10th on the list is Nevada. Oh my gosh, of course, who would not know Nevada? Las Vegas, Nevada, isn't it? <laughs> so Nevada has Las Vegas for you to go. But anyway, in Nevada, um, the mean annual average wage for nurses is $88,800 with an hourly rate of $42.69 in all okay okay so those are the top 10 highest paying state for nurses for registered nurses in the united states but of course there are still um you know other states with just almost the same annual mean average um compared to the top 10 if i may just only give a rundown so that we will not be going over an hour for this video again <laughs> but anyway Number 11 is Connecticut. Connecticut has a mean annual um, wage of 88530 I think it's just 300 difference from the top 10 from Nevada. So with an hourly rate of 42.56 dollars. Okay, so next to Connecticut is Minnesota. Minnesota has... I have a copy, okay? <laughs> Minnesota has $84,030 mean annual wage for nurses with an hourly um, rate of $40.40. Of course, next to Minnesota is Maryland. I think on my previous video, as I've said earlier, about more, less than two years ago, Maryland it was on the top five. I'm not just sure. I can't already remember. Um, but anyway, Maryland is on the top 13 
this year, um, which has a mean annual average salary of $82,660 and an hourly rate of $39.74. Dollars. Okay, so those are the higher, you know, higher paying state here in the U.S. But anyway, uh, there are also lists. I will just give a rundown on the um, states. The next on the list, um, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, actually they grouped it in salary range. So, um, the next group would be ranging the salary, annual mean average salary would be ranging from 75000 to 81000 Okay, so these states include Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Georgia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Wisconsin, Vermont. You know, uh, North Carolina is not even on the list. <laughs> but anyway, um, the next group has a mean annual um, average wage of 69000 to 73,000 and these states are North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Louisiana, Nebraska, Maine and of course all the other states that have not been mentioned on this video okay so anyway perhaps um, these states are on the third group or the lower range in salary but of course if you will be deciding which state are you going you have to consider so many things you know so many factors as i've said early on this video or the first part of this video perhaps you have to consider if you have family in that state if you have friends you know if you know if you heard any bad news about that place or the crime rate the education the taxes you know um, the insurances you also have to do your own research of course but anyway some of the contributors uh, to the difference in salaries of the different states can be because of uh, cost of living you know job demands you know um, educational requirements you know I think most of the states have an aging population so of course the need for nurses are increasing so don't worry okay so any state you will go of course um, there's an advantage and disadvantage for that okay okay so enough for the highest paying state for nurses now we will just be talking about briefly about the most expensive state to live in the year in this year or perhaps in the coming years so the state who top the list is Hawaii. Oh my gosh, as I've said, Hawaii is very far. I mean, I don't know how many hours travel going to Hawaii, but um, I think um, Hawaii tops the list because of its far-flung location. You know, as I've said, it's very far. But of course, other than that, a website actually said that... Um, cost of living is very high in Hawaii because of course of the taxes the property taxes you know the housing the medical care it's just so expensive um, actually the mean um, cost of a two-bedroom apartment in Hawaii is four thousand dollars per month oh my gosh <laughs> that's too much that's too much to handle <laughs> with my salary here i cannot afford that okay <laughs> four thousand dollars per month <laughs> okay so the next um so the next on the list among the most expensive state is california and Oh my gosh, I cannot just because, you know, uh, different uh, sites says different um, states. So I will just maybe just go over briefly on this. But uh, the next on the list is New York, Massachusetts, California. I think California and New York is on the top 
list because of course the high priced items of course which accentuates the opportunity and wealth of course if you will be paid more you will spend more isn't it of course they are just they are giving you money for your salary but they are taking it <laughs> for the taxes and the cost of living and the cost of goods isn't it so of course it will just compensate on your higher salary as well <laughs> and in massachusetts they said that it belongs to the most expensive states due to the fact that they have a high cost of living and higher um, you know cost of child care and medical care as well okay so the next states on the list are maryland new jersey oregon those are also on the top six on the list so they said that new jersey also has a high cost of child care especially high cost of goods food especially and um, most of the people there according to surveys actually are um, it belonged to the most expensive state um, and actually belong to one of the higher you know um paying states in the u.s but according to survey the people feel that they are still poor in new jersey i don't know <laughs> what's happening perhaps because of the high cost of living you know the higher cost of goods so perhaps they feel that they still cannot you know um get by with their high salary um because of the high cost of living as well okay so next is colorado oh my gosh i didn't expect that this is on the higher ranks of the most expensive states okay so they said colorado food uh, cost is very expensive they said it is actually the highest in the country except hawaii of course but even if you will do your research can you also do your research and see if we have the same you know um, results but anyway they said colorado has the highest prices of food in the country except hawaii of course so next on the list are michigan connecticut new hampshire alaska rhode island and others of course but you know um most of these states actually belonged also to the highest paying you know state in the country so it just compensates you know um of course the cost of living depends on the cost of food child care medical care housing transportation taxes of course so it just compensate of course if you have high salary you also will pay the government more than those who have lower salary like us okay so it just compensates so for those of you who are yet to come now you have an idea okay which state are the highest paying which state are the most expensive okay so now i will just be briefly go over the best state to live and work perhaps because of more salary that would be a contributor um why they ranked the best state to live and work okay so anyway uh, the state that tops the list is california well of course california is the number one highest paying state <laughs> so it perhaps comes with the thought that it is also the best state to work and live because of course there's a huge demand of nurses in california so okay so number one is california second is texas new jersey south carolina wow really south carolina and alaska and the best state for nurses satisfaction and happiness oh my gosh i like this the best state for nurses satisfaction and happiness is minnesota oh my gosh minnesota ranks number one in the best state for nurses satisfaction and happiness minnesota wisconsin oregon alaska and colorado this rating actually um, was done with regards to the quality of life you know nurses salary nursing demand and average hospital ratings of course they will be taking the surveys from the residents of that state and again if i may repeat the best state for nurses satisfaction 
and happiness is minnesota wisconsin oregon alaska and colorado wow those are the states where nurses are very satisfied with their jobs with their work with you know with their um living conditions on those states okay and of course perhaps you may be wondering which you know healthcare setting has the highest level of employment and of course perhaps as we all know number one on the list is of course inpatient hospitals of course the hospitals that's still the number one employment employers of nurses isn't it um, it's all around the country so number one on the list is general medical and surgical hospitals next is offices of physicians oh really oh my gosh of course because there are so many physicians so many providers in the country of course healthcare is like you know side by side with providers or physicians so the second um, industry with the highest level of employment for registered nurses is offices of physicians the third is home health oh really home health care services those who you know goes to the home of the patients and give uh, care educate them with their medications and everything you know and of course the fourth is outpatient care centers oh these clinics you know the clinics that's the fourth industry who has the highest level of nursing employment and of course the fifth and the last on the list List is nursing care facilities of or what we call SNF. Those SNF. Oh, okay. Usually, actually, in SNF, I think um, those who are working there are LVNs, LPNs, CNAs. You know, not so much of nurses, but of course, this. Um, these are still healthcare workers, so they still be belong in the nursing category, okay? Okay, so, oh my God, I think I'm going far and beyond again on this video. I don't want to, you know, go over an hour for this video again, so I will stop here. <laughs> and if you ever have questions or you have any other topic suggestions that you want to watch or you want me to make a video of then please please feel free to put them in the comments below so i can read those okay anyway thank you very much again friends for watching and i hope you have learned a thing or two again on this video especially for those who are yet to come and who are still on the process of their application here to the united states i hope you had a glimpse or you got an idea on which state is best for you to go okay so anyway i hope you like this video my friends and if you did please don't forget to hit that like and share button and of course to those of you who haven't yet please do hit that subscribe button and connect with us so thank you again friends and see you again on my next video bye bye